Everything we will see in the next episode number 48 of the promotional anime, which is expected to release on March 9th, I say expected because we do not know if it to be delayed, before going into details with what is coming in the next episode, let's go first with a complete review of episode 47. The chapter begins, after the defeat of Omega Shinran Zeno, the one star dragon, it seemed that the problem was over, but then appeared a new opponent Demigra, now become the new dark king, because he absorbed the essence of Mechikabura, has gained the ability to alter reality, at will was how he changed the scenarios, of the tournament space-time AEOs, resembling most likely the extinct demonic world, in order that his new subordinates have the advantage. These news minions of Demigra were released in the previous chapter, who were sealed inside of Pandora's box, one of them Omega Shinran, who was easily defeated in the previous chapter, but all around the space-time loop appeared, many more villains in what was the capital of the West, appeared Super Android No. 13, Bojack in his strengthened version, and the Super Namekian Lord Slug. In this place Gohan from the future, of an alternate universe and Trunks Zeno, will team up to confront this threat, however they are outnumbered, in what was the planet Namek, appeared the Dark Empire group a faction that brings together the most powerful demons like Gravy, Dabura, Salsa, and Putin, these characters are in their evolved demonic god states a power granted by the ancient Dark King Mechikabura. By the way these demons Shroom, Salsa, and Putin are not the same ones we had seen in the previous season that helped Goku in the Time Patrol, these demons are from another time space, on the crystal planet appeared Majinbu, although curiously in its kindest version, but I guess it is the version that still contains evil inside, this before it separated from its evil part and faced Vegeta. On the other hand, they finally unfroze, a somewhat forgotten villain such as the ancestor of Frieza, Child who was the one who eliminated the glass race or Yamcha's girlfriend, and finally Finn, who surely many do not know is a creature created by Tawa, and that has a great similarity with Kid Buu, not only physically but also have a very identical personality both are manic creatures, who know neither remorse nor compassion, and act by pure destructive emotion. And finally on what was the planet Vegeta, appeared a couple of very strange villains, Golden Great Ape, Baby Vegeta and Hachiak, in a giant version both giants, emerged before a lonely Jiren, although let's not forget that Bardock from an alternative universe, should be around here since he was the one protecting this place. The last one to be shown was Cell, although it was not very clear to me where he appeared. I think it was where Trunks and Gohan are because they are characters that have a great relationship with the android, but you notice that this Cell has a halo unlike the rest of the villains. This is the same version of Cell that appeared in the previous season and helped Goku and the others to escape from the explosion of the planet Vegeta caused by Goku Black, this version of Cell made a temporary alliance with the good versions of Shroom, Salsa, and Pitin. The last we heard from him is that Hearts realized the true intention of Cell, which was not to return to Hell's same desire that surely has Hearts himself. The question is how Cell ended up locked in Pandora's box, is he being controlled by Demigra, or maybe he is pretending to be in order to actually help Trunks and Gohan and thus balance the scales between the three villains, and then leave your opinion in the comments. The two fights of the episode on the one hand we had Demigra, who by releasing all his power as the new Dark King, managed to beat Goku Super Saiyan Blue in a clash of powers, and also to the Supreme Kai of Time without any problem, and in turn could reverse the most powerful technique of AEOs, the Eternal Labyrinth technique that Demigra knows very well because it uses a variant very similar to this. And finally the epic fight of the episode was undoubtedly that of Broly Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker strengthened by the power Demigra vs Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker in which there were many references to the battle between Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue vs Broly both in the clash of blows without doubt one of the most epic scenes of the episode. And of course the key Rafaga between both being demonstrated that Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 is the best fusion. Episode number 48 is titled A Union That Transcends Space-Time. The Fist of Justice That Crushes Evil is clearly a reference to Jiren who is the only member of the Pride Troops present and also the title may refer to a collaboration between Goku and Jiren to defeat Demigra and his other allies. And until here with the full preview of episode 48 of Super Dragon Ball Heroes if you like the video give like comment and do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video and see you soon.